infinite series. Suppose that we have an infinite sequence. We take each term in the sequence and we add it with all the other terms. We're starting with the first and adding all of the terms. This notation is notation for an infinite series. Let's investigate. Let's take this rectangle. Suppose that its base is 1 and its height is 2. Then the area enclosed by the rectangle is 2 square units. Now, divide that total area in half and shade one of the two. Then you have an area of one remaining. Divide that total area in two and shade one half. And repeat. Whatever is remaining, divide it in two and shade one of the halves. Whatever remains, divide it in two, shade one of the halves. Let's come back and let's let these shadings determine a sequence. So here's the first shading, the second shading, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. Now let's write down this notion of adding terms of a sequence. So let's do a1 plus a2 then that we can define as s sub 2. For s sub 3, well, we're going to take our a1 and a2, which is s2, and add in an a sub 3. Or in other words, 2 s2, let's add in a3. Likewise, s sub 4 would be well, let's add in the next term. Currently, we have shaded the first three terms. Let's shade in the fourth term and get S4. The first three terms were denoted by S sub 3. Then add in the fourth term. And likewise. So the nth term, and I'm going to use capital N there, would be the previous sum, and then throw in the very last term. Well, each of these a sub n's represents a shaded area, so each of these guys is positive. And because the next term in this sequence of capital S n's is reliant on the previous term, which is a sum of areas, therefore it's positive then the Sn is going to be bigger than S sub n minus 1. In other words, this is an increasing sequence of S sub n's, which is bounded above by 2. So we can apply the monotone convergence theorem to the sequence of S n's, and conclude by looking at this picture that when we end up shading all this area, which physically would happen rather quickly, but mathematically will never happen, there will always be a little bit left over unshaded, is going to converge to the value 2 as n goes out to infinity. What we have is that this sequence of capital S n's is a sequence of partial sums. So S sub n is a partial sum, and because we can always get the next partial sum, it's actually a sequence of partial sums. And what's happened here is that we've shown that the limit uh, as capital N goes out to infinity of Sn is equal to 2 
and we can denote 2 as the sum of all of the shaded portions of the rectangle, a sub n. In other words, the infinite series is found as the limit of partial sums. Excellent.